With our floors and foundation in place, let's automatically generate the framing. In the Build Framing dialog, you will notice the tabs that allow you to choose commonly used defaults for each framing category you can modify for your project's needs. As you navigate through the different framing tabs, you will see there is a lot of detail you can define for your framing options, including the dimensions of the framing members, type of framing member, and much more. For now, I will accept my defaults and choose to build the wall and roof framing. The framing that Chief Architect automatically generated makes it easy for you to develop framing plans. And, of course, all of the framing members can be manually edited as needed for customizing your designs. I will open the framing for this wall, and you can edit each framing member. I can also add new framing, such as wall blocking. Chief Architect supports both hand and truss framing. You may want to build the roof as we did with the automatic hand framing and have a truss company design the trusses, or you can design them yourself in the program. In fact, let's use our truss tool and place the floor trusses. I'll set my default to a 22 inch truss and then draw my first truss across the floor. Now I'll replicate that truss across the rest of the floor. Now you can see the trusses in 3D, and if you browse the CAD details, you will see a truss schedule that is generated for your trusses.